Eastman, Chief Executive here of Streets to Homes. You're having a, how would you describe it, an open day here down at Bromley Cottages? Yes, it's a, like a thank you for everybody who's been involved in getting it up and started. We've been open for three years now, so yeah, it was about time to sort of thank everybody and show them the progress that's been made. But you mentioned three years. Yes, we were here at the opening. Uh, we're HGS, we're here, and council and, and your service users. How has the three years been? Covid had uh, an impact on the numbers that we wanted to get through. Um, however, we were man we did manage to stay open throughout Covid and stay safe. No, we didn't have a case here, thank goodness. Um, since in those last three years, though, we've actually assisted 66 individuals, and so far, no one has actually left to go back on the street. So that's been really, really good for us. And that is that your gauge of success, really? You're not your streets to homes. So it's all about that, is to make sure try and get people back into the swing of things, really. Yeah, I mean, we've got ex-residents here today that have now got their own flats, got their own businesses, are working. Um, yeah, it's really, that is, that's our aim, to get people back on their feet. A lot of what you do, and we have said this before, there's a lot of tough love involved here, isn't there, when you're in, in what you do and your approach to getting people, you know, getting into homes, isn't there? Yeah, the support that we offer here isn't for everybody, so if it's not for them, then we will move them on somewhere else that's more suitable. And, and in a general theme, homelessness in Harlow, where exactly are we with that? Homelessness is, is on the increase. Rough sleeping is, uh, we're keeping that at a low level, but the number of people becoming homeless is going to increase, well, in, in the coming months and years. And, and do you look at the cost of living stories? You look at things like fuel bills, what they're going to be, even a, a pack of Lurpak. And do you look at it from your perspective as a street to home thinking, that is a real concern? It is a real concern. It really is a real concern. It's a concern that people can't pay their bills. They're choosing whether to put food on the table or, or to pay a fuel bill. Um, yeah, and the, the, the rental prices are still really high as well. So how people are going to cope, I just don't know. And finally, what's on your wish list in Streets to Homes? What is your wish list, whether it's to fundraisers or councils or government? What do you want, Kerry? What would a blue sky thinking? Um, basically, a block of self-contained flats would be absolutely lovely so that we could house everybody in their own home, their own front door.